Where are they? Where did they go? To Chicago. I should guess that at this minute they're with Mr. Marshall. I think Leo took the bonds. I don't believe it. This fine gentleman to whom you were willing to marry your daughter took the keys and opened the box. I'm only guessing, of course. But you will remember that Oscar made a sudden departure for Chicago after you and Ben had your great fight. Well, he took with him the bonds that his son, Leo, had stolen for him. And for Ben, too, of course. <laughs> well, this will make a fine little scandal. Couldn't it? <laughs> a fine little scandal to hold over their heads. Oh, how could they be such fools? <laughs> but I'm not going to hold it over their heads. What? I'm going to let them keep the bonds as a loan from you. A loan, Regina, not an investment. An investment will mean a share of the profits. A loan is simply returned. Oh, I see. You're punishing me. I won't let you punish me. If you won't do anything about it, I will. You won't do anything because you can't. You can't make trouble because I shall say and go on saying that I lent him the bonds. You would do that? Yes, for once in your life, I'm tying your hands. There's nothing for you to do. Why did you say I was making this loan? I'm making a new will, Regina. Leaving you exactly $75,000 in Union Pacific bonds. The rest and my insurance will go to Zan. In the meantime, Ben and Oscar will return the bonds, I'm sure, and they're very grateful to you. And that will be the end of that. There's nothing you can do to them, nothing you can do to me. You must hate me very much. No, I don't hate you. That's because I remember how much I was in love with you. No, I don't hate you either. I have only contempt for you. I've always had. Why did you marry me? Because I was lonely when I was young. Yes, lonely. Not in the way people usually mean. I was lonely for all the things I wasn't going to get. And everybody was so busy at home and so little place for what I wanted. And then Papa died and Ben and Oscar all the money. So you married me. Yes. I thought you'd get the world for me. You were a small town clerk then. You haven't changed. Well, that wasn't what you wanted. No, it wasn't. It wasn't what I wanted. But it didn't take me long to find out my mistake. And then it was just as if I couldn't stand the sight of you. I couldn't bear to have you touch me. I thought you were such a soft, weak fool. You were so kind and understanding when I didn't want you near me. The lies and excuses I used to make to you. And you believed them. That was when I began to despise you. Why didn't you leave me? Where was I to go? What money did I have? I didn't think about it much. If I had, I'd have known you'd die before I did. But I couldn't have guessed you'd get heart trouble so early and so bad. I'm lucky, Horace. I've always been lucky. I'll be lucky again. The other bottle. Please, upstairs, in my room, in the drawer. Upstairs, quick! <laughs> 